Shalom, shalom. I hope everybody is doing good, man. I tell you, it's a beautiful day here in the Carolinas. Sun is shining, but it's going to be hot today. And uh, I'm sitting here waiting on Erica, and uh, hey, there's something I want to share with you. Uh, in Psalms 143, verse 10, David said, Teach me to do thy will, for thou art my Elohim. Listen. He was talking to the Father. Teach me to do thy will, for thou art my Elohim. Honestly, how many of us actually prayed that prayer? That we say, Father, you are my Elohim. There's none other besides you. Teach me to do your will so that I can walk uprightly before you. And, you know, the only way that you can walk uprightly before the Father is to follow His instructions. And those instructions are for our benefit. Because there is no covenant. There is no intimacy with the Father. There is no relationship with the Father if you're not going, if you're not willing to surrender and follow his instructions of how he wants you to live. And um, I was talking to Erica the other night. You know, it's hard. You know, you miss the fellowship. You feel isolated. And you say you want to go into the church and, and, and for the fellowship. But there can be no fellowship if the Torah is not being taught. The book of, in the prophet, the minor prophet Amos said, how can two walk together unless they be in agreement? If there's not a mutual agreement that we have to follow his instructions to maintain that relationship, to maintain, to maintain that covenant with him, I mean, there, then we can't walk together. Then we can't fellowship together. Because I'm not going to change what I believe just to have fellowship. And you shouldn't either. I see the deficit within the church. I see the deficit behind the pulpit. I was reading in Jeremiah where he said, you know, my people have gone astray. They're shepherds. Their pastors has caused them to walk in a different direction. Because if the shepherd is not teaching you or instructing you or encouraging you to follow the instructions that will that that will put you in a right standing with the Father. There's no gray area. Either he's teaching you the truth or he's not. And I want to encourage you. Don't compromise your walk with the Father. Don't compromise. I know sometimes it gets lonely. You feel like you're isolated. But that's a small price to pay. I would rather pay that price than be contaminated with a false doctrine. I cannot listen to a wolf in sheep clothing because that wolf in sheep clothing is not going to tell me to follow Torah. It's not going to teach me the Torah. And I want to encourage you, stay the course. Nobody has a monopoly on the Torah. Study, do your own studying. Do your own research. Be a modern day Berean. Study for yourself. And fellowship with the Father. I told Erica, when I get into my study and I close the door and I begin to, co to communicate with the Father, it changes the atmosphere around me. Can't put a price on that. Listen, I love you. I pray that you be blessed today. Those who will listen to this video, I pray that you will share it. But I pray most of all that you will be at peace today. And, and remember, with Yah, our Elohim, all things are possible. Be blessed and much shalom.